So what struggles or problems did I come across while losing weight on a keto diet? Hey folks, my name's Allie. Let's get started. So I've actually gotten this question a lot. Um, people want to know what issues or struggles did I um, experience while I was losing weight, specifically on keto. For those of you who don't know, I lost 170 pounds in two years on a keto or very low carb diet. And these are just some things that I experienced along the way that were kind of bumps in the road. So I'm going to start this list with more lighthearted issues and move on to more serious issues as we go. So the first issue that I came across was having carby dreams. And I mean like maybe once or twice a week for the first maybe year and a half of doing this diet. I dreamt that I was overeating on carbs and it scared me in my sleep that I would actually wake up sometimes. I would never dream about like savory carbs like pasta or french fries. It was always about sweets. And I remember dreaming about just like this delicious cupcake. It had pink frosting. I mean like I could taste it in my dream and I was so sad that I had broken my diet to have this stupid cupcake. And so when I woke up I was so relieved that I hadn't actually broken my diet. I hear that that's a common experience among ketoers, maybe on people with other diets as well. But I've definitely read that other people who do keto have had carby dreams like that. After about a year they went away and I haven't had any recently. Okay, the second issue or problem that I come across, and this might happen about once a month, is that I get bored of the same old food. Like sometimes I just don't want any more steak or any more chicken or any more fish. And so that's kind of when I come up with like those more um, different types of meals. Like um, I've talked about my cauliflower rice or in my what I eat in a day, I made that um, chicken stir fry that was kind of like takeout. And so maybe once a month I'll try and shake things up, try something new. There have been times where I've tried new ingredients. For example, I tried shirataki noodles because people were saying that they were such a good low carb option if you're missing pasta. I tried them, they weren't that great for me. I mean, if you like them, that's great, but I just, I didn't like the taste or the texture of them. And maybe I cooked them wrong too, so I haven't tried them recently, but I tried them once. And so it can be a little annoying when you're just tired of eating meat and vegetables. Sometimes I have to rethink what a meal is, like, you know, I might just think, you know, I'm keeping it simple with meat and vegetables, but there was a time one week where I just, I had pate and cheese for dinner, and that was my dinner meal, and it was good, and it kind of like reset my taste buds so that I could go back to eating my meat and vegetables. Okay, another question I get asked a lot is if I do or if I've tried intermittent fasting or IF, and I have, twice. I've heard so many good things about intermittent fasting from that, you know, you'll lose weight even quicker and that it'll help you with loose skin. I tried intermittent fasting twice, each for about two months. The first time was when I had started an internship, so I was working all day anyway, and so I wasn't eating anything from basically breakfast until dinner, and then I'd eat a big dinner. The second time was when I started my new job, and again, it was just easy to try and not eat lunch while I was working the first couple months, and so I wouldn't eat all day, and then I'd go home and eat a big dinner. For me, it didn't work. I like food. I don't like the feeling of being hungry, and some people are like, I don't feel hungry at all, but I did, and I tried it for a while, and so I noticed that if I felt a little hungry, then when I got home, I wanted to just eat all those calories anyway. I wasn't losing any more or any less than I had been doing, doing my two smaller meals and then a larger meal at dinner time. And so for me, it just, it wasn't worth it. I didn't like doing it and I didn't notice any changes. Okay, so I also get asked a lot if I hit any plateaus. And not really. There was one time that I recall where I just kind of wasn't losing as much weight as I had been. And so I actually, I recalculated the meals that I was eating that week and I realized that I had been miscalculating my butter and my mayonnaise. I had them set at really low calories, but those are high calorie fatty foods. <laughs> like they're 100 calories per, you know, tablespoon of serving. So I noticed that, you know, my weight loss had stalled and that I, once I recalculated um, the butter and the mayonnaise in my food log app on my phone, then it just continued back again. So for me, Seco is definitely something that I stick to. I mean, calories in, calories out, Seco. And so I think, you know, if you want to make sure that you maintain a steady weight loss, counting those calories and how much you're eating is important. I know some people don't agree, but that's just my experience. And so when people write me comments saying that they are plateauing, my go-to is always please make sure you are measuring what you're eating and that you're eating less than your total daily energy expenditure or your TDEE because if you're eating over or at that amount, you're not going to lose anything. 
Sure, keto helps you with feeling less hungry and it gets you into that fat burning mode, but um, if you're overeating on calories, you probably won't lose anything. And if you are heavily overeating, then you're probably going to gain weight. So loss of motivation. I never really lost motivation where I just wanted to give everything up. Um, and I think that's because I was steadily losing for those two years um, by counting calories and measuring my food. And also too, um, if you're losing motivation because you're plateauing, please make sure that you recalculate your macros and your calorie requirements. I mean, go to the keto calculator. I'll link it down below. You plug in your stats. And so I recalculated after every 10 pounds of weight loss. And because my calories went down a little bit each time that I recalculated, I ate less each time. And so I'm pretty sure that that's the reason why I saw steady weight loss. I actually find it harder to keep motivation now that I'm at my goal weight. Um, for me, I don't know, like I'm at my goal and I want to have fun and enjoy life and so it's harder to say no like on a weekend after a long week of work, like you know, have a couple glasses of wine, have a few tablespoons of peanut butter, maybe eat out a little bit, like, and that adds up calorie and carb wise. Even though I'm not eating non-keto foods, like, you know, it's just I'm eating more and I just, I want to enjoy things. So my motivation had to change a little bit. now. Every time I go shopping, I really do try and take pride that I'm getting small and medium sizes, which was never the case before I lost weight. So I really try and like, you know, enjoy those moments where I can see that tag. And I know that sounds crazy, but it just, it helps me stay here because I'm definitely healthier now than I ever was when I was 300 pounds. So um, that's one way. Another way is making these videos and, you know, picturing the life that I want to have and, you know, just being healthy. So. It's definitely harder now to keep motivation, so my motivations had to change a little bit, but that's okay, I'm still dealing with it. Usually now on the weekends, I'm not counting so much, I just kind of eat keto lazily, but definitely during the week, I count everything that I eat, and I log it. The sixth struggle that I find is trying to figure out whether I should tell people about my weight loss or not. And of course, this has happened more recently since I've gotten down towards my goal weight. You know, I meet new people and we get closer and then I kind of just let it spill that, yeah, I used to weigh 320 pounds, you want to see a picture? <laughs> so I don't know if I should bring it up because I don't want that attention on me, Like, but it's something that they might find out if they find these videos. For example, um, after I made my Keto 101 video, which I'll link below if you're new to Keto, um, people at work had seen that after um, <laughs> the new year and so they were like wow wow I didn't know that you know you weighed that much and that you've gotten down so low like I was like yeah I was a little shy and I didn't know how to handle it because I don't want people to see me differently I want them to know me as the person that I am now I don't want them to know me as the person that I was and so it's just I don't know it's just hard to explain but I don't want them to judge me for my past <laughs> so it's definitely a struggle to figure out who to tell and when to tell them. I was a little scared to tell the muscle, but I mean, he didn't care at all, and so I'm really thankful for that. And finally, the last struggle that I've dealt with is kind of the alienation. I've talked about this before, especially when eating out or going to holiday functions with friends and family. Um, you know, if you're not eating the exact same thing as everybody else, or you're kind of watching what you're eating, people take notice, and they might ask you, you know, hey, why don't you want to try this, or you should try this, and then once you say, no thanks, I'm on a diet, you know, I'm watching what I eat, and, you know, they might um, be like, oh, you don't need to be on a diet, you're fine, and then I tell them, oh, I used to weigh a lot, so I really do, you know, I need to watch what I eat, and then we get into the keto discussion, what are you eating now so that you lost all this weight? Well, I eat low sugar, low carb, you know, I do that whole thing. Uh, I'm eating less sugar and starches, and then they're like, oh, but that's not good for you because, you know, you need fruits and vegetables and pasta's good for you and whole grains. And so, <laughs> like, the alienation comes from just feeling like you can't enjoy yourself all the time. It comes from feeling like you're a little left out of social functions when food's around. I mean, it's not so bad anymore. Everybody who knows me now knows that I do this diet and that I'm serious about it because obviously I make these videos. And, you know, I spread the word if I can. <laughs> but, um, and it's alienating also in the fact that, you know, if you realize that you have to depend on yourself to lose the weight, you can't depend on anybody else, you realize that that's true for other things in life, too. So, if you're unhappy with where you are, it kind of makes you feel like you're a little alone. Like, you are the one that you depend on, and that's about it. I mean, so, I don't know. That's just a couple of the struggles that I've dealt with, with alienation when it comes to dieting and losing weight. 
But enough sad talk, I want to tell you about my new series, I don't know, my new style that I want to add into this whole channel. And it's called the Merlot Down. And it's just a place for me to discuss like the things that I want to discuss that aren't related to weight loss specifically or keto. Like, you know, I have these ideas and just like thoughts that I want to get out there. And so they might be a little bit more humorous and less serious or they might be even more serious, who knows. But yeah, so keep an eye out for that. I definitely, I've been planning for one of the videos and I definitely want to film it next week, get it out to you in about a week or so. So be on the lookout for that. It'll be called the Merlot Down. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to find me on Instagram, my name is Keto underscore Allie. Also too, I have a blog I'll link down below. It's AllieMcWowie.com and you can find me at Facebook as well. Again, thanks for watching you guys. My name's Allie. Have a good one. Bye. So like I said, be on the lookout for the Merlot Down, but also too, um, I talked to The Muscle about doing kind of like a video together where we're talking to the camera kind of thing instead of like a vlog, and he said that he would be down for it. So I was thinking if you guys have questions or comments or anything that you might want to ask him or ask us about, you know, because he doesn't do keto and I do, so maybe uh, any questions about how we kind of, you know, do our whole food situation together. Um, yeah, I thought that would be interesting, so if you have questions for him or for me, we kind of want to do that video together. Again, as always, you guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.